This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio in Premier Pro CC 2014. In this excerpt, I want to show you how to do a voiceover recording in Premiere. This is a very serious documentary. It's Dr. Surf talking about the interstellar internet, and you can see that this has got to be the most complex mix and, and, and edit you have ever seen in your life. I mean, look at this. I've got two whole tracks of video clips, and I've got, I don't know, six tracks or so, five tracks of audio. The mind boggles at the complexity represented by this edit. And this is such a cool edit that it's going on PBS. And I want to do the voiceover to announce this is going on PBS. This is a promo for my upcoming PBS special. So I type the letter I to set it in, and I type the letter O to set it out, and maybe we need to adjust it just a little bit. It runs six seconds. Okay, so I've set a range inside the timeline. Now I'm going to record this to this track right here. And I'm going to record it to the A2 track. I'm going to pull this down. Let's just Command plus. No, no, no. Option plus. There we go. And notice here, if we go a little bit farther, notice that there's this little microphone symbol there. That microphone wasn't there this morning because <laughs> I customized it. I want to show you how. Let's just scroll down a bit. If I control click inside the track header, notice we have a customize option. The customize option shows all the different icons that I can add. I'm going to grab the microphone, just drag it out. Poof, come on, there you go, no microphone. This is how it looks normally. But I want to do voiceover recording, so I'm going to grab the microphone from the customize menu, drag it down into my track header, and click OK. And now the microphone is there, which allows me to customize the voiceover recording. So I'm going to right mouse click. Nope, right mouse click in the header, say voiceover record settings, and I can say where is my source? It's going to come from the built-in microphone. Ba -ba 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 -bum. I can set that. I want it to give me sound cues so it goes beep, 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 so I can hear it counting me down to the start of when I'm going to do this incredible voiceover. I'm going to do a three-second pre-roll. I can change it to any number I want. A two-second post-roll, again, change it to any number I want. And it's going to be recorded to the scratch disk that you selected when you created the project of where you store audio. And that's uh, scratch disks under project settings. Scratch disk, there it is. And I want my scratch disk captured audio is going to be stored at the same location as the project. Well, in truth, I've got two different hard disks connected to this computer. All of my media is being stored on this second drive over here. My screen recording is being captured on this third drive because I didn't want to have the screen record get in, in, interrupted by media that I'm playing off the second drive. All of these are connected via Thunderbolt. So. What I want to do is I want to make sure that my capture audio goes to wherever I want media stored. In this case, audio is relatively small compared to video, so I'll leave it where it is. But you have control over where your media gets stored. So I'm ready to go. Here I am. Okay, now watch this. Now that I've set the settings, which I got to by right mouse clicking and changing voiceover settings, you actually activate the recording. This is a very dangerous procedure. Keep your hands and arms inside the moving vehicle at all times. Click the microphone. It counts me down, and I say, The Interstellar Internet, tonight at 9 on PBS. And then the audio post guy dubs in, boom, 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 and it's done. And there it is. There's my audio right there. And when I play this back, by the way, to get rid of the in and the out is option X. When I play it back... The Interstellar Internet, tonight at 9 on PBS. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my heart bleeds. It was incredible. Stunning. Well, maybe the mix wasn't great, but you could see how easy it is to record a voiceover. And that was the whole point. We got control of the voiceover by customizing this setting, adding the microphone. First, we set the record settings to determine what the import's going to be, what we're going to use for a source. And we'll go back to our connection. And then we click the microphone button to start the recording. Really, really cool.
This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at audio inside Premiere Pro CC 2014. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 151. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than a thousand movies, hundreds of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.